Hey guys, I know I haven't made a video in a while, but now I'm back with my review for The Revenant. Now one thing I want to clear up very quickly before I start my review is that last year I faced sort of a dilemma whereby films that were released in 2014 like Birdman and Whiplash came out in 2015 for us in the UK. Well, that's all well and good, but it did mean that I had to rethink my end of the year list for 2015. So what I've decided to do this year, starting afresh, is not to do that anymore. Any 2015 films that I happen to review within the first few months of 2016 will still class as 2015 films. I'm not classing them as 2016 films at all. Instead, I'm going to categorise them as movie limbo. They're not quite in this year, yet they're not quite in another. Yeah, you'll see a lot of those reviews in the first few months, like The Hateful Eight, The Revenant, which I'm going to review now, uh, The Big Short, and even Sicario. Anyway, now that that's out of the way, I can finally review The Revenant. The Revenant is directed by Alejandro G. Inaritu, the same director as Birdman, and it stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Hardy, Will Poulter, and Domhnall Gleeson. It's inspired by the true story about Hugh Glass, a man who was brutally attacked by a bear, his son killed, and he was left for dead. However, he wasn't quite dead, and this is basically a story of survival and also a story of revenge. Now I'm going to get the very few minor flaws I have with this film out of the way. There are a few times where it feels slow and does drag on a bit, and some of the dream sequences, because Leonardo DiCaprio's character does black out at a few points, and some of the dream sequences feel a bit too artsy. But apart from that, this film is fucking incredible. Honestly, there are several moments in this film that are utterly baffling. I honestly don't know how they did some of these things. Like, for example, the bear attack at the start of the film. No idea how they did it. There's obviously CGI in there somewhere, but it's just so surreal. Because there are so many long, drawn-out shots used, I think that's why it makes certain things that happen in the film hard to believe and the fact that they achieved that within that one long take. The cinematography in this film is gorgeous, honestly, it's absolutely breathtaking. There are a lot of moments where, like there's one bit where it's just this long take of Leonardo DiCaprio's character just crawling along the floor and there's one bit where he's breathing heavily and he huffs up the camera lens and I feel that that makes it more real and more hard to watch in a way but also the use of natural lighting um, for a large quantity of the film I think for the whole of the film actually just makes everything seem a bit more real even though it was probably a pain in the ass to shoot it just makes everything seem colder and grittier and more realistic Talking about gritty and realistic, the action in this film is fucking brutal. I mean, within the first five minutes alone, you're kind of wincing at the goriness and the realism of the action that's taking place. There are some films that you can watch and the action is purely there for enjoyment purposes and you don't have to think about it. But the violence in this film is so brutally real that it's kind of hard to watch and I don't think I've ever seen violence this brutal in a film before. There is also a lot of animal death in this film uh, however none of it feels pointless none of it feels like needless violence it all feels necessary and is there for a reason. The acting in this film is incredible especially by Leonardo DiCaprio, honest to God, he needs that Oscar now. I mean, he should have got it for Wolf of Wall Street, but this just shows that he needs that Oscar. Tom Hardy is excellent in this film. He's a dick, but he's the right amount of dick where he's also likeable. 
Domhnall Gleeson is very good, so is Will Poulter. Even though his eyebrows are forever stuck in the angry position, so you can never tell if he's happy or whether he's sad. Also, the score, which for the most part is very held back, is eerily chilling to the bone and it is very atmospheric and it has stuck with me ever since I saw the film. From a filmmaking standpoint and from a person who loves films, I would not be lying to you when I say The Revenant is a truly unique cinematic experience. And that is why I am going to give The Revenant a 10 out of 10. If you have a weak stomach, I wouldn't really recommend this film for you, but this is def the definite must-see film of January. Anyway guys, that's my review for The Revenant. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like this video, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and like my Facebook page, The Media Critic. Goodbye.